a message. Hey guys. So I'm out here just exercising and thinking about stuff. And I wanted to mention something. Something doesn't bother me for quite some time. You know, it's kind of funny that people say you shouldn't have kids until you're mentally stable. But how do you know when you're mentally stable? I'm talking about when you're young and you're getting ready to get married. And this is beautiful. You know, when you're getting ready to actually marry. And you think you got it all together. Even if you're not that young. You know, some people wait until they're in their 30s or 40s or even 50s to get married. Some people choose to wait that long. Some people don't, but it happens anyway. You do that. You think everything's fine. You know, your life's been carrying on like normal. You got your career going. You got your money going, so you think. And then you get married and... After a couple of years, you realize you weren't as mentally stable as you thought. Now, I'm saying this because that somewhat happened to me, but the difference with me is that, I, no, I did not have any money accumulated. I did not have a career going. And no, I did not fully think that I was mentally stable. I did not, um, I just didn't know how bad it was. I didn't know that I wasn't mentally stable in the sense of, in an emotional sense, if you know what I mean. I didn't know that I was going to be so clingy before I had kids. I didn't know that I was going to be just as needy as they are at times towards my husband. I did not know in what way my mental, abil mental disabilities were going to affect me as a mother. I had no idea. It's like once you have kids and then all this other stuff about you starts coming out, you start really wondering, damn, people are right. <laughs> and it's like, it's not really fair because they're going through the same thing, but they have the right to criticize you and what you're going through instead of actually helping you. They just criticize and judge and all the other shit. That's what most people do. They don't even bother trying to help you with this. They just tell you, oh, don't have kids. Oh, don't have kids because you're going to struggle. Oh, don't have kids because you won't be able to love them properly. Oh, don't have kids because you don't have this, this, that, and the other. Um, those are not good enough excuses. You know, if you don't want me to do something because I'm going to so-called ruin my life completely, and you know exactly how I'm going to ruin my life completely, then you need to talk to me in depth about it. So, you know, I'll actually know and take what you said into consideration. But what happened, what happened with me is, was that... You know, y'all know my story. I was running away from my abusive father and I had no other choice. Yes, I was in love, but I had no time to get myself together. I had no time to get myself in therapy. I had no time to get myself just anything, you know? And on top of that, I had kids really quickly. And now I'm paying a damn price because I knew I wasn't mentally all there because obviously I'd come out of child molestation and all that damn aftermath drama. I had just come out of that and I was still dealing with it but I thought that I was mentally stable in the sense to where you know I'm not gonna molest my own kids I'm not gonna beat my kids you know not beat uh, beat beat not spanking you know <laughs> I'm not going to manipulate them I'm not gonna be a narcissist towards them you know I was like oh yeah sure I can have kids you know I'm not gonna do what my mom and dad did I'm not gonna physically or sexually abuse them I'm not gonna mentally abuse them to the best of my ability you know those things I'm not gonna do I was like yeah I'm set you know I'm going to be better than my parents. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I thought, if you have kids, we're going to be that bad. No. Hard no. What I realized through doing that was that me and my husband, we both still had issues that we either didn't recognize or we did recognize, but we were not able to fix. We were not able to um, recognize or you know, for doing anything about it. There's a beautiful butterfly right here on the ground next to me. Mm. I've not seen a butterfly this close to me in how long? Was that a sign? Oh my god. Wow. 
I haven't seen him come that close to me in forever. <laughs> that was awesome. But anyway, um, like I said, uh, me and my husband, we had some things going on with us that, like I said, we kind of knew, but then we didn't really know in depth, you know, until we had kids. Kids bring out a whole other side of you, people. Hear me when I say kids bring out a whole other side of you. I was doing things I didn't know I even did or, or I was even capable of, you know. Not really in an abusive sense, but just in a sense where I'm still hurting from my issues. So certain things that I was hurting from did get portrayed onto my kids. As in, the older they got, the more I started, like, trying to kind of push them away, I guess. Because I needed more me time. Because I was around them too much. Because I had no life of my own. Because I wasn't able to create that life when I was a young adult, if you know what I mean. Follow what I'm saying? I wasn't able to get my life together prior to having them. So, at times, I go through this emotional battle of not really spending time with them that much. Or not being around them that much at all because, you know, I'm a mom and I need my space. And I know every mother goes through that, but with me, it's deep, y'all. It's, it's rough. Because, like I said, my both my husband and I have mental things that we're dealing with from our childhoods and our adulthoods still you know abandonment issues abuse issues sexual issues emotional issues all of that it's a lot you know my husband he came from a um, divorced family he has issues from that the abandonment issues and the responsibilities and stuff that fell on him you know all of it. it's, a, it's a lot y'all it's a fucking lot and at times I'm walking around like, why did we choose to have five kids? I can't say it was all a choice. Majority of them are accidents, to be honest. <laughs> but, you know, we enjoy sex just like every other married couple. But we weren't responsible for what we were doing. We didn't know how to be responsible. Everybody kept telling us not to have kids, so we purposely went against the grain and be like, well, why not? This is the only thing we can do to have fun. This is the only thing we can do to enjoy ourselves because you guys are pressuring us so much. You guys are not listening to us talk. You guys are not um, letting us heal from this abuse. You guys are not helping us out in any shape or form. So why the fuck not? We went on stubbornly and had a bunch of kids accidentally because I don't do birth control anyway. Birth control fucks up my body completely. We're not going to do condoms. And yeah, sex was our only coping mechanism. Sex, playing, I mean, sex, I was about to say playing sex. Sex and playing games, I was gonna say. Sex and games was always our coping strategy. You know, with all this crap that we got going on, we're still trying to figure ourselves out. And at times, with five kids, y'all, it's hard as hell. Now we're in this weird very fucked up emotional period of our lives to where me and him are kind of going against each other in ways you know we're finding out things about each other that we didn't know we're changing ways that we didn't want to change and it's all because no one had any respect for our marriage in the first place and this is reality y'all i'm coming to y'all with reality this is what happens in a lot of married couples a lot of poor married couples deal with this and in a way, it's like sometimes you want to wish that you didn't have kids. You want to wish that you could just turn back the clock. We all have something we wish we could turn back the clock on. Sadly, I did not want it to be my kids, but I don't walk around saying that. I don't walk around treating them like that. I don't tell them that. I don't say anything to them regarding, you know, I wish y'all weren't here. I, I never say that. But I just look at them and I feel that sometimes because... I mean, my life would have been probably a ball of mess still, even if I did not have them, or even if I had just one or two versus five. But it'd be a lot easier if it was one or two versus five. Picking up what I'm putting down. So that's what I'm trying to say. I was not fully stable prior to having kids, and I regret that. I regret that I was not able to be fully stable. I've had counseling sessions, or therapy rather, off and on throughout the years, but again, couldn't afford it couldn't um stick to affording it um i don't get it for free i used to have medicaid but they only give you medicaid when you're pregnant but that's, that's what used to happen and based on after you have the baby you only have medicaid for about three months after you have that baby and then it's just your medicaid benefits are gone 
I don't know what's going on now, but I have been pregnant in six years, so I wouldn't know. So, again, there goes the therapy that I was supposed to have. It just, it didn't happen. So, yeah, now um, we're going through a lot. We're going through a whole lot. My husband, he lost his mother this year. That put him on another mental spiral. Now, he had to get therapy. And we could barely afford that. And it's like, oh, my God, come on. When are things going to mellow out? And like I said, things are rough right now with our marriage. And trying to keep these five kids occupied, you know? You know, we're still homeschooling. They're not in school. Y'all, we can't even put them in school. There's a lot of shit going on between COVID and this monkeypox and, you know, school shootings. Y'all, are you kidding me? Is this the worst time to put the kids in school? And even though I think about it every other fucking minute, I think about putting these kids in school all the time. But when I think about the inconveniences it's going to cause us, y'all, it's, it's just oh, it's a lot. We always say no, like it's just not gonna happen. I just have to grit. I just have to bear down and grit through this because this is what we chose. And even when things could have changed a bit, there was only so much change we could do. We were always broke and we've never had any help. When these kids were babies, we didn't have any help with babysitters and or nannies or you know, even an aunt or uncle around to watch them. We didn't have none of that. Never had any of that. No support, always. So and there was only so much we could do as far as me going back to work even years ago. Now, I've had part-time jobs. I've had two part-time jobs throughout this marriage, but they were just, you know, short-lived. <laughs> Freaking bugs, get off me. They were short-lived, and, you know, it's not enough money for a family of our size. I really don't have any, any, uh reason to be doing part-time besides the fact that yeah i got five kids and they're not school so i can't leave them home eight hours a day on their own no i can't do that yeah my oldest is 13 but i still can't do that she can't watch all five of them for eight hours a day in a fucking way oh my husband's at work too y'all uh-uh so it, it, this is just a little bit about what i'm going through there's a whole lot more factors going on right now that i'm not gonna put on camera because it's too personal and too much but just know I am in a still in a rut and I mean a rut and a half right now I'm constantly out in nature looking for answers you know I'm always seeking answers I'm always trying to elevate myself so I can find answers because your life is just not it's just not it's not not giving I know everybody's having their own struggles I know but I'm tired of being in the same rut. Same, same rut. You know, we still have to move. That hasn't happened for a while because, again, money, depression, uh, everything. Having these kids around, we can't do what we need to do. No help, we can't do what we need to do. The same toxic environment, we can't do what we need to do. There are a lot of fucking factors. And y'all, I'm trying, I'm, I'm pulling my hair out of my head every day trying to figure out what type of changes I can make that won't affect us in a very negative way because even sending the kids to school right now even if we did, like we said, the oldest ones I don't know how we get them there or afford to get them there or I mean, they could probably ride the bus I think I've seen a bus come around here for, for middle and high school, I think but we can't afford back to school clothing we can't afford back to school supplies we can't afford to send them on field trips we can't afford any of that extra stuff and even if me and my husband, we did work, even if I did get a full-time job, all that money's got to go to us moving. All that money would have to go to us getting out of here. Not excess stuff, you know, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, if, like I said, if they were in school, all the back-to-school supplies and the clothes and shoes and stuff we got to constantly buy because they're kids and they're growing. What the hell? Okay. That's somebody who's yelling at me yelling to me but yeah even if we had all that we dare not waste money on that we're behind financially we can't waste money on back to school stuff it's just not the right time for that so oh y'all like i said sorry i'm just rambling right now i really just needed to get some of the stuff out i let y'all know what's been going on a little life update 
you know, I don't come up here that often and put out a lot of business because I don't need to. And I've just been trying to go inside myself more and figure things out. Let's figure shit out because, like I said, I'm dealing with some stuff. Oh, yeah. I, oh, so yeah, that's my little update. Mm, I don't know what else to say at the moment. But yeah, struggling. Sometimes I wish we did not have kids here. I wish we had just stuck to one or two. And let that be it. But I'm glad I haven't been pregnant in six years. I'm glad that I've learned how to do that without birth control, without any other contraceptives. I'm just doing my natural family planning, as most people don't even know about, or most people don't really, you know, they don't, they don't care about that shit. They don't even have time to follow their ovulation cycle. Hence why birth control exists in the first place. For me, I've been using my ovulation cycle, and it's been great. Been working and I have no regrets so yeah not being pregnant in six years so yeah anyway that's all I'm going to mention today leave your thoughts and opinions suggestions whatever down below let me know how your life is going let me know if you're feeling like I'm feeling you know you're stuck you're in a rut not knowing what to do for the life of you and you still got stuff mentally you gotta deal with let me know and you got kids along with it too. Let me know how you're doing, how you're coping, and all that. Because basically, how I'm coping, it's not sex anymore. It's not. Basically, the way I cope, I've been gaming, exercising, and going back to reading. I started reading again, reading some self help books, kind of just gain information, get just knowledge under my belt. And a lot of exercising. If you know me already, I'm always exercising. That's been helping. I get this fat off me. It'll help me think better and do better. And yeah, that's what I've been doing out here. Just hanging out in nature and stuff. The usual. Being a mom. Being a mom has its perks, but it also has a severe dis. It also has its severe disadvantages in this situation when you're poor and you can't really put them anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> all right well i'm done rambling i'm gonna go back inside and get to what time is it 11 37 i just did my jump rope workout so that's done um yeah i'm just gonna go out i'm gonna go inside and chill it's saturday i'm gonna go inside and chill yesterday i did a lot of work a lot of housework and hair for the kids so yeah again let me know what you guys think down below leave some comments suggestions all that let me know how your life is going and all that jazz i hope you guys are having a great day second hour month minute week and month thank you for watching peace out